You know the day destroys the night Night divides the day Try to run, try to hide Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side, yeah The first takeoff we'll look at today is the straight takeoff. This takeoff is a very efficient way of gaining speed, keeping stability, and allowing the paddler to carve a hard bottom turn. Here's another example of a straight takeoff. As the boat drops into the wave, notice that the hull is flat on the water. The paddler then places the wave side rudder swings into the bottom turn. Looking at this wave, the paddler looks like he's lining up for a faded takeoff, but as the wave steepens he chooses a straight takeoff. Notice the increase in speed into the bottom turn. The diagonal takeoff. In my opinion, diagonal takeoffs should only be used when the wave is very steep. This paddler gains lots of speed but remains high on the wave and will eventually outrun the pocket, the most powerful part of the wave. Here is another example of the diagonal takeoff. When the wave is very steep, the diagonal takeoff can get you out of trouble. Notice the paddler using the left blade for stability and then placing the wave side rudder allowing the boat to drop down the wave. Here's another example of a diagonal takeoff on a much bigger wave. The faded takeoff executed correctly allows the boat to come under the steepest part of the wave and up into the pocket, maintaining speed throughout. Into this world we're thrown like a dog without a bone and actor out alone. Riders on the storm. There's a killer on Here's another example. Notice the boat starting to come right, then the paddler switching the rudder to the left and the boat initiates a long carving bottom turn. Let your children play. If you give this man a ride, sweet family will die. Killer on the road. This faded takeoff shows the peak to the paddler's right. In order to get on the wave, the paddler surfs towards the peak, aiming to carve the bottom turn in the pocket before continuing with the ride. This faded takeoff in an IC boat sets up a long carving bottom turn. The second bottom turn is faster, allowing the boat a more aggressive top turn, which then becomes a cutback. Once you've mastered catching a wave, the next skill is the bottom turn. Without a bottom turn the boat will go straight for the shore and the white water will end your ride. Knowing when to initiate the bottom turn is the key. 
A correct bottom turn will see the boat accelerate across the bottom of the wave and begin to climb back up the face while still maintaining speed. The paddler needs to get across the first section fast and uses two very short bottom turns. Watch the third bottom turn which takes him right to the bottom of the wave allowing the following top turn to be high and aggressive. Notice that the first two bottom turns are completed on the top third of the wave. The first section of this wave is fast. The kayaker keeps all his speed to make it through. As the paddler notices the wave slowing down, the next bottom turn is completed in the bottom third of the wave, allowing the boat to get right into the pocket, narrowly missing the cover up from the pitching lip. The next manoeuvre we will look at is the top turn. There are so many variations of the top turn. We will look at three in this chapter, the diagonal, the straight and the faded, also known as the revert. The first top turn example is a straight top turn. Notice that as the boat finishes the manoeuvre, it is pointing straight down the wave. The second top turn has a slight revert to it. Notice that the boat is pointing back towards the pile or pocket when completed. The third and last top turn is also a straight top turn. This top turn is known as the diagonal top turn. Notice as the top turn is completed, the boat is still facing the original direction and carrying lots of speed. Here are some more examples of the diagonal top turn. This top turn is a revert top turn. Notice that as the manoeuvre is completed, the boat is pointing back towards the pocket. Notice the boat carving around the top turn and finishing facing back into the pocket. Instead of a conventional top turn, on this wave the paddler pivots the boat around the nose, completes a 360 and surfs on.